Hello, <laughs> I'm Davina, um, I'm 34, and um, I'm looking for love. Seven six nine two. Mr. William P. Shawcross. Uh, expiry date oh nine oh four. That's one thousand four hundred and seventy one pounds and ninety three pence. Oh yes, indeed. One moment. Your credit card needs to know it's you. Hello. Yeah, the twelfth of the eighth, nineteen fifty nine. John Ruskin Grammar. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Uh, two of a kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay, here we go. I'm Mary Gelchrist. I'm 36. I'm a midwife. You don't want me to say my name? Uh, yeah, no, they can know my name. Um. <laughs> Share. Carla, Carla, try not to move. Oh, tell him to keep his hands off then. Michael, concentrate on Paula and the other with her breathing, okay? Oh, oh, I want an everything. Paula, it's too late for an epidural. No. Try not to move. I need to hear the baby's heartbeat during a contraction. Um. <laughs> Shoes and car keys. Anyone see my brown shoes and the car keys? Keys on the hall mantelpiece. Shoes by the kitchen. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Mrs. Ball. Dad, can I go to Rachel's? No. Why not? Because it's late already. Good evening, Mrs. Ball. Is uh, William in? Oh, no, not you. But Mrs. Ball, I love you. And however much you spurn my love. It's that awful, came. Mr. Hi, Julia. Two. William! In here. Acoustic Cafe have had a cancellation tonight. They want a one-set gig, 15 oats each. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm going out. What, going out where? It's Acoustic Cafe. Acoustic Cafe? Can I come? Oddly enough, no. Well, where's he going? No, don't anyone tell him, please. Nobody, OK? Well, take him with you, please. Come on, Billy. Oh, William. Come on, man, it's 15 oats. This is cold. You have to play on your own. I told you. Bye-bye. Works the night. You know that, don't you? No, no, this is the one. Thomas, you always say that. Yeah, no, but this is the yeah. one. This is the man. Look, I see lovers colliding. I see sparks and passion. Lots of passion. I see travel. So it's great. Oh, you wait. You wait. Your jaw is going to drop when all this comes true, which it will, cos I know. Oh, come on, get your glad rags on. The film I want to see, and I want to know what you're wearing for this guy. You know that girl in three? Yeah. What did she have? Oh, no, that's still going on. You know, she's only a year older than my Brendan. Oh, don't go there. Don't even think about it. Think. Man with money seeks good time, girl. Think this is what I signed up for. The question is, do I take a shower or have a drink? A drink. Have a drink. Have two drinks. Let the pheromones work. <laughs> you reckon? Definitely. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hi, Mum. You know they say that all the people that should be running the country are all busy either driving taxi cabs or cutting hair. 
funny, that, isn't it? I don't know who it was who said it. Somebody told me it was Mark Twain. Mum, I haven't met him. I'm not even there yet. Well, I wouldn't bother going then. What's the point? Yeah, why don't you come home and we'll have a pizza? Mum, do the boys want a word? I don't know. Do you want a word with your mum? Just tell her she's sad. Thank you, Terence. I'll see you later, Mum. But will I? I'll be home later. Do you have a passport? Oh, I would have said this later, but uh, well, I like what I'm seeing, and uh, if you do too, I'm flying out to Malaga next weekend to look over a few villas. I've got a spare ticket on my company, obviously. <laughs> it's maybe a little premature. Must be that perfume. <laughs> I'll get it, don't worry. <laughs> the food here is excellent. They do great tapas. Marvellous. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi. I enrolled at the beginning of the week. Yes, hello. Oh, William, how are you? Come and sit down. Uh, no, I can't. I've got choir practice. I just wondered if you'd had any response from Mary Gilchrist, the midwife? Yes, I know. But I haven't been able to send you your details yet. I, I think I did tell you we don't arrange multiple introductions for our clients. We do it one at a time. Right, I just thought she might have had that date by now. I'll be speaking to her after the weekend, OK? Yes, fine, OK, thanks. Well, why don't you look at some more clients? You can choose three. No, thanks. I'll wait for her. But thanks. Bye. <laughs> of course, the people in this villa, they know the dogs are stray, but they're British, so they feed the dog. They buy it dog food. It becomes part of the family. They even give it a name. What happens? The day they leave, not two hours after they've left, the owner is uh, Spanish, remember? He shoots the dog. <laughs> well, I think that's really sad. Oh, no, yeah. Sorry. No, I think it's sad, too. Um, I tell you, it's, it's the perfume thing. It's the uh, one with a naked woman in a bottle, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that um, I didn't have a shower before I came out tonight, and, and so it's... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, it's not what you want to hear on the first date. You bastard. You absolute bastard. But she's my secretary. You obviously can't fit every aspect of each person. Oh, he's married. I met his wife. And I am personally absolutely devastated that you've been put through this. So give me my money back. My good name is all I have. Well, you haven't got the money. Why don't you let us keep trying for you? I mean, this has nothing to do with money, as far as I'm concerned. I could have taken my boys on holiday for £700 plus VAT. Oh. It's everything to do with the money, and I want mine back. This man enrolled last Monday. I'm not interested. He looked through all the files, and he was told he could select three women, which we would then approach. How nice for him. Can I have my money back? Well, when he finished, he made only one selection. You. So why didn't you call me and tell me? You were meeting Matt on Friday. And we don't make multiple dates. But we would have called you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to my refund. You don't believe me. Look in the file. Your details, and only your details, are in there with his. That's not a trick. I'm not a magician. All I ask is that you look. 
And if you don't want to meet him, or if you meet him and then you're not interested, I mean, well, hopefully you'll want to try us again. But if you don't, I'll refund your money in full, OK? Hmm? His name's William. Just have to ask Mrs. Ball to look after the girls. Where? I mean, where would she like to go? Where would you suggest? <laughs> Whoa, hello, here I am. All right, come on, you two. So, how do you feel about being induced now? OK, um, will I have tubes sticking out of me all the way through? And if the baby's born, like, this week, when can we bring it home? Well, I can't promise anything, but I would anticipate no intervention after we've started you off, unless you want it. And a baby back in this house two days after the birth? Well, it would have been Dad's birthday Wednesday, so I'm up for doing it then. Tom? Any thoughts? Questions? Yeah, when would they start a chemo? Oh, and will that stop me breastfeeding? So, that can't be an issue. We agreed that. I want to know. It's just a question. Uh, well, I don't really have an answer, but I would guess it would affect feeding you. Do you want everything? Yeah, thanks. So, he looked at all the women and he chose you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he's in a band. He's shit in a band. <laughs> you see his ears? Tom, shut up. This might be the man she spends the next 30 years with. Hey, I'm not looking for permanent. I'm looking for someone I can have a laugh with and a bit of, you know, what, sex? <laughs> yeah, if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> Sally, Tom, come on. Amy, he's not my type, but I'm going to show up, do the deed, then get my money back and take the boys on holiday. What time are you meeting him? Nine. OK. Well, let's give him a chance, because I think he's got a lovely face. OK, how about if I give you a ring on your mobile about half past nine, and if you want out, well, you'll have to go, won't you, because you're on call? Ugh. Why didn't you suggest this six weeks ago? Half past nine, OK? OK. Great, great. Uh, one more question. Uh, actually, what happens if it all goes wrong? I mean... You know, what happens William, if... William, first-time meetings are like a high-wire act. So, do what everyone else does. Have a safety net. What do you mean a safety net? Get someone to call you. Maybe an hour into the date. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to like her. I'm sure she's going to like you, too. In fact, we are two of a kind to have a hunter about this one. Is it right to see the menu, sir? No, I'll wait, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good William. Mary. Hi. I thought we'd um skip the opening exchanges about nothing in particular. You're a community worker. What kind of community work? Uh, mostly with old people. Yeah, let's not talk about work. I mean, work's while we're here. If we met people at work, we wouldn't have to do this, eh? You're a single father? Yeah. Where's the mother? I'm only interested because um, I was out with a guy the other night and uh, his wife turned up. 
Really? Well, there's not much chance of mine doing that. She's dead. Oh. They should uh, put that down here. I ticked the box. Can I ask how? A traffic accident. She was knocked down three years ago. Oh. Sorry, are you smiling? Yeah, but not about that. So why the smile? I don't know you well enough yet. I didn't run her over, if that's what you're thinking. I wasn't, no, but um, thanks for the thought. Oh, you have a housekeeper who looks after your girls. How old is she? Mrs. Ball, she's 60, 61. She only comes when I'm, I'm working or on call. Two daughters, Kate and Julia. Yeah. I've got two sons. What are their names? Terence and Brendan. But adolescents are the other reason I never get to meet any men, so they're a banned topic too. Should we order? Yeah, I, thank you. I don't know Japanese food. Yeah, OK. No, I don't really either. You choose. Thank you. That's mine. Oh, sorry. What is it? It says that I'm in a choir. A choir? Oh, a choir, right. It says you're in a band. Yeah, I'm in a choir and a band. What kind of band? A brass band? <laughs> R&B and blues. We're harmless. Come and see us play. Do you want to come? We're playing this weekend. Why don't you come? Yeah. I think I'm working. How can you be a community worker and not be political? Well, you haven't told me what you mean by that yet. I mean... OK, so all I do is vote. Thank you. But what do you do? I try and change the system I'm working in for the better. Oh, well, fine, sure. I try and do that. Well, this is a banned topic, by the way. What do you do with that? I guess you just pour it over this. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh, God, I've made that worse. <laughs> That's hot. I like hot food. No, that's really hot. <coughs> Don't you dare ask for water. <coughs> My God, it's like swallowing a hospital. <coughs> Why did you let me eat that? No, I'm sorry. Just... <coughs> yeah, OK. <clears throat> I'm coming now. Yeah, I'm coming now. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I'm... I I've been called. I I've got to go. Sorry. What's happened? I got a parking ticket. Where's Sal? Where is she? Like, why are you here? She couldn't get up. She went to bed after lunch and she couldn't get up. So I brought her in here and I gave her an ultrasound, but the baby's fine. And they, they sent us over to oncology and now they want to keep her in. And I forgot all about the car, so I'll race down here even though I know okay, it's... OK, come on. It's OK. Come back with me and I'll sort it out, OK? I'm going to lose her, Mary. I'm so scared because there's nothing I can do. Hello. You alright? Hiya. Hi. Yeah, I'm feeling much better. Sorry we caught you in early. Don't be daft. How are you? So how was he? Did you want to leave or was he really nice? Sal, that doesn't matter. What's important is you. So what's happening? They're going to induce me. Like, no. Well, that's OK. Yeah. Come on, we've talked this through. Once they've started me off, I can still do it naturally, can't I? I can still do it on my own. Of course you can. Oh, Mary, good. I told you I was done tonight. Um, she wasn't. We called her. Oh, right. Well, let's get you along to the labour ward, shall we? Yeah. 
That's okay. I can manage. Definitely. Ooh. Sal. You okay? Sal. Just gonna have a little feel of your tummy. That is a contraction. So you've started on your own. You're gonna do it on your own, yeah? Right. Let's wait for the contraction to pass. Will you be handling this? No. So who is then? It's all right. The senior registrar will be looking after her. Speak. Yes. I'm going to go and find one of Sal's consultants, OK? Sal, I'll be with you as soon as I can. Mary. Jordan, contractions become much more intense once the waters are broken. She's coping. She doesn't want an epidural. Please, don't force my hand on this, Mr. Jordan. I'm asking for your cooperation. And I'm telling you to get out and leave her to it. She's fine. Mary! Well, what's going on? You want Sal to have an epidural. Why? What's her blood pressure? Would you mind waiting outside? We're all going outside. Outside, please. She has specifically asked for no intervention. She only needs an epidural if her blood pressure's high, which it isn't. She has cancer, Miss Gilchrist. She's severely weakened. I'm interested in mother and baby. And I'll section her if I have to. You want to give her a caesarean? No, Miss Gilchrist. I will section her under the Mental Health Act. Oh, you can't do that. Mother and baby are both at risk. I'm formally requesting that this midwife be removed from the unit. She's obstructing critical clinical procedure. I want Dr. Curry called. I'm the senior registrar woman. I want Dr. Curry called and both of Sally Jordan's consultants. I am questioning your judgment, OK? I want their opinions. Are you trying to lose your job? When that woman came for her first scan and they found a tumour as well as the foetus, she decided to have the baby. She's probably made the ultimate sacrifice with that decision, and her wish is that she should try and have this baby in as natural a way as possible. Make those calls and leave, Miss Gilchrist. You'll find they're backing me, not you. Where can I get their numbers from? If your blood pressure goes up, you have to agree to an epidural cell. This is very important for you and the baby. I'm doing all right. Sal, you've come this far on your own. You haven't been induced. This is all natural. But you're early and they might have to intervene. Mary, I want you to leave now. What's going on? I can't deliver this baby for you. Don't get involved, just help Sal. You're as prepared as you can be, OK? Mary, please. This isn't helping. Sal. If it was me, I'd have the epidural, OK? I'm going to stay here all night if I have to, so let me know what happens.
baby girl. <sighs> Nearly six pounds. And Sal? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. But she's exhausted. Did they sex her? No. They did give her an epidural, but she pushed the baby out herself. <laughs> Can I go and see them? I'm afraid not. Look, I want you to go home, get some sleep, and be back in the director of midwifery's office for three this afternoon. We've been. Oh, why? What time is it? Just gone two. Oh, oh so it's half days, is it? Is it's inset, inset, isn't it? Isn't it? It's inset, isn't it? Hi, Mary. What are you doing here? Your mum wanted fitted wardrobes. She's making a lovely job of it. Look. Um. Do you want to go out for a drink tonight? No. Might want your mum to take him up a touch. Just a touch. Yeah, about the yard. I'm not wearing one of those. Lovely. Right. Gym kit. Mum. Number one, have you asked Brendan if you can put wardrobes in his room? Because I know you forget, but it is his room. And two, I want to be told when Rick is coming round. If you had any sense, you'd be living here. <sighs> Mum, I finished with him two years ago. You know, in fact, I don't want him coming round at all. Hello? Hi, it's Mary. Oh, hi. Hello. Hang on. Come on. Mind, but I asked the dating agency for your number to, you know, say sorry about last night and, well, to see if you fancy trying again. Uh, um, yeah, yes. Dad, yeah. these are optional. You don't have to have them. It's only if you want one. And I don't. So can you come and tell we don't need these, yeah? Uh, Mary, can I call you back? I've just got to sort out my daughter. Yeah, yeah, OK. Great. Thanks for calling. I'll speak. When I'm holding one of these to my ear, I'm on the phone. I'm talking to someone, and you're having a hat. All right. It's not for a community midwife to interfere with medical procedure. Sorry. Hi, you've reached Mary Gilchrist. Leave me a message. Mary, hi. Uh, it's William. Um, I'll try you again later, but uh, thanks for calling again. I mean, uh, when you called for the first time. Well, it's the only time. Uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. I'll speak to you soon. Pratt. <sighs> I have to say, in my experience, Mary's only ever had the Jordan's best interests at heart. Yes, you weren't actually here when this happened, were you? Can we move on? The problem the hospital faces is a potential legal action by the husband. On what grounds? Well, they could say they were misadvised and encouraged by Mary to resist obstetric advice with resulting complications. You went back and saw Sally Jordan again, after you'd been asked to leave. I had to tell her I wasn't going to be there for the delivery. Then why did you take her blood pressure? To get her to agree to an epidural. I didn't want her sectioned. What's the prognosis on Sally Jordan? She's very poorly indeed. And if she wants to go home, 
given the number of secondaries we're uncovering, I think we should allow it. If the baby's up to it. The baby's fine. Mary, would you wait outside for a minute, please? just say off the record that, with one exception, everybody fully supports what you were trying to do for Sally Jordan, even if it was a little unorthodox. However, until we've clarified the legal position, I have to strongly advise you not to have any contact with the Jordans. This is very important, Mary. It is. Go against this advice and we'll almost certainly have to suspend you. Understood. Uh -huh. Did you see David Collins the other day? It was heavy, innit? Hey, hey. Hey, I'll sit down. I'll get you a plank. Uh, Collins struck it from 35. How are you talking about? Go and see the wardrobes. We won anyway, Thanks. still. Mum? You all right? No. I need a hug. One of my new mothers is very sick. Hey, <laughs> Will I ever get my room back? And I'll come and tell you when Rick's gone. else about last night but I... listen if you're called then you're called uh, it was a bit abrupt my first thought was that you were uh, trying to escape under the cover of a call out no it was real it was it was very real so do you want to meet up again uh, yes please when were you thinking tonight ah uh, i'm taking the girls out okay well, tomorrow's out for me yeah i'm back at work tomorrow i'm on call the next night Friday? Friday, I'm on call, but we could risk it. Mm, tempting fate. Saturday's good all day. Yes, yeah, Saturday's a bit... No, well, I don't know. I've got the choir practice at St Saviour's. That finishes at five, and then the band have got a gig across town. Do you want to come? You're on. St Saviour's at five. Bye, William. Bye, Mary.
Jones, we can ever agree on anything else. I mean, I really like Billy Two Heads and the Who Cares, but... Yeah. I really like the gig. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Oh, thank you. It's a tenner. Oh, come on. Uh, what? What? Oh, come on, we're not all postmen. No, I'm happy to pay. Yes, she's happy to pay. Oh, for God's sake, Billy. So, what do you think of our William, then? Yes, well, we're uh, off now. There's your ten well, we pounds. Uh, no, 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 no. She hasn't told me what she thinks of me yet. I don't want to have to do it in front of you, I'll lot. stick it on. Oh, 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 no, they're in for an all-nighter. You trust me, that's not what you want for our first uh, date. So, where are we going? Anywhere we want. I've booked us a cab. I was at school with most of them. <laughs> ah, so they know all your secrets. Yes, that's uh, not a good reason for not staying. <laughs> so do you play in the same pub every week? No, there's a sort of circuit. Oh, so you commute? You just... Turn up, play and go. No, I normally stay over. I sort of need it. Once a week, I'm not dad. I'm me and I play in a band. Does that sound really bad? No, no, not at all. So you're off to home to your boys? No, I don't have to. My mum's at home. You should have said you'd only take the call. I always sleep on Billy's floor. Not in a hotel, then. Oh, so if I'd ask you to come and see me play in a band and then spend the night in a hotel... <laughs> no, I'm in the hotel. You're on Billy's floor. Oh, right. Yeah, I see. So... Either of us has to go home, then. to get paid for doing that. <laughs> but you've got a credit card with no name on it. Yep, that's right. Don't even have to sign it, you just wave it at them. Can I ask you something? Yeah? Did you really look at all those women and just pick me? Well, I looked at lots. And then I stopped looking when I got to you. Why? You got laughing eyes. <laughs> 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 laughing eyes? Yeah. And then I saw you were a midwife. And then I heard you talking about yourself. And that was it. I didn't bother with the others. Oh, what have I been now? I don't know, a tax collector. I'd still have liked you. Would you have looked the same? Well, you think I get these from uh, being a midwife? Some of the most miserable people I know are midwives. You know, I just like the thought of them. Delivering all those... Babies. No. Well, yeah. You know, all those hopes, all that potential life. Yeah. Babies. <laughs> and a hundred years ago, they used to lay out the dead, didn't they? Wash the bodies, prepare them for burial. They brought you into the world and they saw you out. I didn't know that. How do you know that? Oh, well, I don't know. I must have read it somewhere. Don't know. I don't care. I'm happy. Mm. I'm in bed with one.
Oh. Hello, Mum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the tube now, okay? Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Yeah, in about an hour. Yeah. It, it's someone else's mobile ringing. But I think we might be coming up to a tunnel, so we might get... Kate. No. No, you've got school tomorrow. Uh, Katie, I'm going to be home in about an hour. Can we talk about this then? Hello. Hey, Rick. Nice wardrobes. Oi, Sleeping Beauties. Tell me what you think of that. I said no, oh, haven't I? Please. No. Why? Why? You want to go to a party on a Sunday night when it's your first day of school tomorrow? Yeah, because today's her birthday and last night was Tracy's, which I wasn't invited to, and I really want to go. Everyone's going to be there, please. OK, all right. Hello? Doctor. Yeah. I've left the death certificate. Oh, thank you. No, you shouldn't be here. Of course I should. No, Dr. Curry told me that you couldn't contact us, but I had to let you know. Tom, I am glad and honoured that you called me. Nothing else matters, OK? Can I go and see her? Please. I just woke up this morning. Martha was lying on her breast, suckling. And she was dead. She's amazing. She thought of everything. Isn't that amazing to find an undertaker that'll do cardboard coffins and leave me the number? Well, she knew what was going to happen, Tom. And she loved you. She did, didn't she? Here they are. No, 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 I'll do it. Thanks. Mr. Jordan, good afternoon. William Shawcross. 
Can I offer you my sincerest condolences at this time? If there's anything myself or anyone staff can do for you. Come in. Do you bring her back? Uh, yes, we can bring her back if you like. It's, it's like she's gone away. And... Let's take things one step at a time, shall we? Of course, you can come with us, but it might be better if we took her body away and prepared it and then let you decide. Yeah, I'll show you where she is.